Hey, what are you guys doing here? Welcome back to No Disrespect. You know, MJD here. And this is my segment where I tell you guys all the things about football this past weekend. But more importantly, I throw shade like a 60-yard Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary pass. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in him? In the end zone, it is caught for the win! Today I'm in New York City because it's Hanukkah, my first favorite holiday, and I couldn't think of a better place to enjoy the Festival of Lights. So I'll start with Cam Newton, who's been lighting up the season like a menorah, and in this past weekend was no different. He threw five touchdowns, yes, five touchdowns in the win versus New Orleans Saints. But no disrespect, who does this ref think he is? That's Cam's TD ball, not yours. And even worse, what about the ball boy or ball man? I don't know who he is, but the holidays are forgiving and not taken away. Cam gives his balls to the kids. You gotta think about the kids, man, dang. Sticking with the Panthers, they've turned the holiday season into dabbing season. Yes, dabbing. John the Stewart wouldn't let the ground stop him from dabbing. It's unbelievable. And then after the game, their owner even got into the mix. Everybody's dabbing. I'm even told Jets owner Woody Johnson dabbed after the game. No disrespect, but dabbing is over, folks. I don't even know what that is. There's no more dabbing for anyone. Woody Johnson just killed it. Ugh. Speaking of killing it, how about Tom Brady? His team didn't win on Sunday, but he continues to be the best at what he's doing and is flat out playing amazing. Even on the days when he's a little off, he put the pats on his back and he almost pulled his team out of a 35-14 hole on Sunday. But no disrespect, the Patriots combined for nine drops. That's more than the days of Hanukkah, including the three in a row that would have tied the game. No wonder Tom Brady had to go out there and play receiver himself. And finally, our most disrespectful play of the week comes from the San Francisco 49ers. Gabbert picks up another first down with his feet. Still going! Gabbert will take it all the way! Damn! That was dope, too! If dabbing is dead, maybe we should all start gabbing. Gab on them folks, Blaine! Gab, 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 gab on them folks, Blaine! Gab on them! But that wasn't the most disrespectful play of the week, either. This was. Butler in trouble. Wrapped up, and down he goes. Ball comes loose. Jaworski tight with the sack, and Cutler is shaken up. Double damn! He went and tossed Jay Cutler around like a sack of potatoes. And the most disrespectful part of this was the Bears players didn't even come to his defense. You got to protect your QB, Chicago. If not your teammates, then who? That's all for this week's show. A special Hanukkah hello to YouTube user Ethan Sketch for his excellent comment. If you dish it, you gotta be able to take it too. And you were right about Javoris Buck Allen, who tore it up this past week. To the rest of you, step up your YouTube comment game or hit us on Twitter, at NFL Now, and you might get a shout out on next week's show. Taxi! Taxi! Damn! I guess it's true what they say. It's impossible for a former Pro Bowler to catch a cab in this city. Unbelievable.